Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Should we just jump in to what's going on in Pennsylvania, Jordan? Sure. Yeah. I know I spoke to you earlier. You were fired up about this. I don't know if you've, like, worn yourself out at this point. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a, little, I'm a little tired. You know, we're traveling, traveled mm-hmm. yesterday, did some uh, visiting with some friends today and stuff. And then, you know, I kind of get this. My phone just starts blowing up at lunchtime. Hey, mm-hmm. did you see this? Do you see this? Mm-hmm. No. So I start reading it, you know, and it's like, oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. So one, so one of our gun show promoters up here that we do a lot of business with, um, they have a bunch of shows that we support them and. Uh, you know, go to and our customers go to. They've they've decided that uh, we're not going to be able to sell uh, basically homemade or home built firearms kits uh, at, at their shows. I, I think so there's eighty percenters. I think there's a misnomer here. They're telling you you aren't able to sell a hunk of either metal or plastic that just happens right. to look like a receiver. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No law has changed. Um, I mean, we went through a little bit of of our attorney general Josh Shapiro and. End of 2019, uh, he tried to make us do do background checks, and we were set up to do that. And uh, the FPC, Firearms Policy Coalition, got, I don't know what the right legal terminology is, but uh, an injunction or a stay on that. So so basically it's, you know, normal. You know, we can sell whatever we want, uh, mm-hmm. you know, as, as a home-built kit, so. Do a background check on a non-firearm? Yeah, it's not yeah. a firearm. Yeah, it's t- we, yeah. Yeah, how, we, yeah. yeah, why are we is that? So, uh, so listen, we probably need to go back and lay this out for everyone. Uh, I'm going to yeah. try to get John Crump to come on here, but there is an article that we can point everyone to if you guys uh, want to like see an article about this. Um, I believe uh, Truth About Guns, was it Truth About Guns that had this? Hold on, let me see. Where's yes, my article? So articleizations uh if i can get everything up on here properly here we go okay so it says uh pennsylvania ag pressures gun show promoter to ban sales of gun of ghost gun kits quote unquote right that's um you know that's what's in there uh pennsylvania's assiduously anti-gun attorney general josh shapiro did the happy dance today for the press after announcing that he's pressured the state's largest gun show promoter into banning the sale of quote-unquote ghost gun kits shapiro held a press conference in philadelphia today to announce the agreement quote-unquote under which eagle arms productions will prohibit the sale of kits um so uh, so Shapiro said the agreement struck between prosecutors and the gun show promoter is the first of its kind in the country. An Eagles, Eagle Arms representative confirmed the agreement but declined further comment. Um, and then Shapiro said, we've become the first state in the nation to do something about this. To well, bridge the, strange rela- the strained relationships between gun enthusiasts and those who want more gun reform, Shapiro. This is what he you said. You have strained it further. Yeah, is uh, uh, is is Shapiro is he elected? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shapiro is he get elected? <laughs> yeah, so oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing, so the thing that's going on here, um, just just I'm gonna you guys, the folks out there really need to check this out. So they're really they're talking about how ghost guns are quickly becoming the weapon of choice for criminals, right? So we no, could go through. Not. Yeah, that's really not true. Criminals can get their hands on anything. They could, you know, they don't care about laws. Now, here's one of the, here's the really important part of this, and I'm going to try to share this with the folks out there if I can do this right once again. Um, A.G. Shapiro got an assist in pushing the gun show ban from an ostensibly pro-gun organization that apparently isn't a fan of Keystone Staters building their own firearms in their own homes. Kim Stolfer, that's a dude for everyone. I know I was confused about it too. Kim Stolfer, president of the Pennsylvania chapter of Firearms Owners Against Crime, said Eagle Arms Productions owner Joel Kohler has every right to control what products are sold at his events and added legitimate vendors at these events support what Eagle Arms is doing. Um, And, you know, so go ahead. I know someone wants to jump have in. they have they asked the legitimate vendors have they have they done a poll to ask them if, now yeah you know i don't believe yeah, so. he, i don't uh, believe so yeah. go ahead what, mm-hmm. 
he, he Kim went around to, to the last gun show and, and talked to a few different dealers or whatever. The ones he's talked to are, are mad at us because we are always busy. No matter the time <laughs> of year, we are yeah. always busy. They are not. They sit down and read the newspaper. They talk to their buddies, drink beer, whatever it is that they do. I mean, we're, we're business people. We're salespeople. And we're obviously huge Second Amendment advocates and supporters. So we support all of the different dealers and vendors that are at the shows, whether they're selling muskets that I'm not into at all. I don't care mm-hmm. about muzzle loading muskets, whatever. But we support them to do that. So these guys, uh, they're they're mad or jealous or upset that that we go and, and we're, we're there for business and, and to support the industry. So um, we go and work. Where mm-hmm. you know it's it's leisure time for them, which is fine. Mm-hmm. They can they can do whatever they want. But those are the those are the dealers he's talked to, uh, are, are the guys that kick back and you know read the newspaper for two or three days in a row and you know aren't approachable. You know we're very approachable. Our customers love us. We we have a lot of fun, uh, you know, with our folks. So yeah, that that's who he's talked to. The ones that are, that are mad that that we go and make money and you know the uh, the others don't. Yeah, I, I well, guess, so I so there's they a can't, couple... they can't they can't sell or overprice guns. That's what, that's what well, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple it. of things going on here, and we do have John Crump. Uh, well, we got a couple of Crumps joining us actually. Um, I'll throw them. I'll throw them in the mix here. I can only handle one. Yeah, I can well. only handle one Crump. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel for you, son. Um, so the thing, <laughs> the the uh, the thing here is, it's a gun show, right? A gun show is a gun show. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Crump, do you want to enlighten us in what's going on here? And oh, shout, uh, shout out to Matthew also, by the way. Oh, that's uh, coming. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I see Jordan on. Hey, how you doing? Oh, what's up, Patrick? Hey. Kai Walter, how you, how are you all doing? Okay. So basically, uh, Pennsylvania has this uh, really anti-gun AG mm-hmm. uh, named Shapiro, who hates hates unfinished receivers and frames like with a passion. Mm-hmm. Well, he he wants to get them banned. And Philadelphia is making some kind of questionable, unconstitutional move right now yeah, to ban them. Yeah. Um, yeah. That that violates the state preemption law, but mm-hmm. that's not what this is about. Uh, there is a gun show promoter that basically uh, blocked, sorry, that blocked uh, anyone selling 80% from selling 80% at their uh, booth. Mm-hmm. At their booth, whatever, whatever it is, uh, whether it's uh, oh, was it the booth Jordan... or was it a booth or an event? An event, event. Okay. But mm-hmm. you know, if I'm saying if you had eighty percent at your booth, oh, you couldn't sell booth, them. Booth, okay. you couldn't sell them. Right. Uh, JFD Tactical, I believe, is one, and there's some other ones as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started looking into the. I heard some like troubling stuff a few days ago, um, and so I started looking into it, uh, and. I kind of knew it was coming before it was coming. I'm sure JFD did too. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, I know they did. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> go ahead. But John. yeah, so I think it started coming down, and it looked like it was pressure from the AG, but it was also pressure from FOAC, which is the Firearms Owners Against Crime, specifically their uh, president, Kim Stouffer. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say whether they're right or wrong. I I can tell you what was said when I talked to him today. I think we can uh, definitely uh, come up with whether they're right <laughs> or wrong here. But go ahead. Yeah. No, we're going to let you, <laughs> we're gonna let you get, your, get your thing uh, Okay. Out. Okay. okay. Uh, Kim says he doesn't believe in a, a, a registration, but does believe that the that we have to self-police ourselves by m- somehow making it traceable. No. By no. Uh, not allowing cash sales, like uh, he, I think he said check or so hand, credit like card. So like hand-to-hand deals. He's against hand-to-hand yes. deals, like you're supposed to be able to do. He's yeah. Against selling selling property from person to person. Yeah. No yeah. Well, yeah. He, he says that you should be able to sell them, but only by check or credit card at an FFL. Yeah. There's a press release that they put out. I guess I could roll it in here a little bit. But you also, I'm just trying to give everyone background before we all get into this and all get fired up. Because I know everyone's ready to get fired up. I've got uh, ass missiles uh, preloaded yep. for what's going on here. So let me just uh, <laughs> let me just yeah. let me just share. I, I, I'm just gonna be neutral. Okay. All right. Fine. You're gonna be Switzerland. 
Uh, so this is their press release, <laughs> and in this press release, they effectively say that that they don't care if places like um, like uh, just to just to put it out there, let's say Brownells, they don't care if people buy these from Brownells, right? From other big places, right. they want a paper trail because of this whole self policing nonsense that they're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, they said they're against the state making any laws, but uh, he did <laughs> express to me how they're making uh, laws, right, though. I'm against them making I, up laws. I, I heard a rumor uh, mm -hmm. that one of uh, JSD's guys was accosted by him, and uh, he told them that, uh, you know, that uh, basically, I, I can't remember exactly what was said, but it was something like, uh, you know, how can you live with yourself or something like that. Uh, Jordan, yeah, you, should, Jordan, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be yeah, ashamed, you should be ashamed of, yourself. of yourself for so, selling these guns that, you know, make so it So wait, hold on a second here. So this yeah. guy who... Uh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy who represents the this pro-Second Amendment organization in Pennsylvania right. saw your people where? Yeah. At, at a gun show, at an Eagle Arms gun show. Just at a typical an, uh, typical weekend for us. Yep. Okay. And, and said... And then, yeah, came up to them and told them off. And said exactly what now? Yeah, so I mean, it's secondhand from my guy. I wasn't there, so that this, mm -hmm. you know, this oh. was told to me. But oh, I talked to you know, him. Hey, oh, I can yeah, you, you should, you, you should be ashamed of yourself for for selling these these products. And my guy's <laughs> like, what? Who who are you? You know? And he, well, I'm, I'm a Second Amendment advocate. So You're a he calls me. He's like, what's going on with this guy? So I, I don't know. Find out who it is. I I don't have a clue who this guy is. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, before last weekend, I had no idea who Kim Stolfer was, um, you know, but he's, he's I made didn't himself. I hear of him up until today this, either. Okay. So, so, yeah. so, so I yeah. asked him, I, I asked him if he said it. Uh, he says he can't recall exactly what was said, but <laughs> he stands by it uh, and uh, said that, uh, like, uh, like people saw 80, like, like unfinished frames, for cash, hand-to-hand -hand cash, you know, like gun shows, they have no soul because their their yeah, yeah. their market is criminals. So he's accusing their market is criminals. <laughs> so he's yeah. accusing he's accusing guys like JSD and anyone else selling at these gun shows of having no soul and being criminals because they're selling pieces of metal. Yeah. No, because they're selling because the people who buy them are criminals. Oh, the people who buy them are criminals. So, and, they, uh, so, so they're supposed to assume yeah. that the people buying from them are criminals. I I, I don't know. Uh, it's mm -hmm. like uh, I, he he gave an example of like if if someone comes in that's sketchy to a gun store, you don't have to sell them anything. Um, okay, but and, and, he and said how, but especially in certain yeah. areas where gun where some of the gun shows are, uh, he he takes issue with. What selling would those areas be stuff. like where uh, people of color? Are, Black perhaps? neighborhoods. Well, mm. I, I yeah. asked them that. So they're sketchy and... because of uh, what they look like. <laughs> well, well, I asked them That's that. Right. Uh, uh, That's right. At, fir at first, he, he said, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Black neighborhoods. But then he corrected himself. He said, I mean, uh, low income neighborhoods. So yeah. they have, not low income, they have... uh, sorry, high crime areas. Sorry. They have mm. gun shows in high crime areas? I don't know. I've never had been to, a, well, in Florida, I've never been to a gun show in a high crime area, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Uh, so the I mean, what difference does it make? You could drive from a high crime area to anywhere you want to. They they invented this thing with four wheels and an engine that moves you around. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand what that means, really. Uh, I mean, I don't know. The, my conversation with them was about thirty minutes. It's it's on uh, my live channel, not mm -hmm. my live channel, my uh, news channel, uh, John Krupp News. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you can go listen to the whole thing there. I'm not going to pass judgment on anyone. Um, okay. You know. I will. Yeah, yeah, you so, yeah, yeah, cause, cause yeah, go I, ahead. Go, I, I, I like to let the since I'm a news guy, I like to let the people. Yeah, let's, let's let Walter. Let's let Walter go for it. Go, Walter. And, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give John credit for that because a lot of people have their news is all biased. Yeah, well, that okay. that's why I don't do it, and I right. wanted to get that out before you say what you're gonna say because like, regardless I know what, where it is. Regardless what you might think or feel, just tell me what's going on, and and you right, did true, it. Right, true, true. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but my question is. Does anybody know about this group? Uh, yeah, they're actually pretty uh, big in uh, Pennsylvania. They 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 have a lot of influence in the Republican Party. 
Oh, it, it seems okay. Like, so this uh, is not a this is not one of the uh, Bloomberg groups. Excuse me, forgive me for interrupting here. Uh, this is not one of these like Bloomberg setup groups that they just created to fake out like their pro Second Amendment groups. No, no, okay. they've been around since the nineties. Uh, in fact, uh, there's there's a lot of uh, people that's been in Boac for a long time. It seems like they have kind of swayed a little bit uh they claim um th they don't like confrontational politics uh, oh one of those people they're, mm -hmm. they're their people is you have to talk and uh you know communicate and come to an agreement no mm -hmm. nope you have to you have to you have to you have to uh compromise is that what it's called uh that they they don't use that <laughs> words they just talk <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, what, 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 can't we just all get along? Yeah, but they, but they've been around for they've been around for a minute. We, I don't um, think we can get. I, I don't want to get along with you if you want to infringe on my right. You want to sell tonight. out my rights? Yeah. Well, right. my well, rights what? that you you have no control over. You you did not give, grant me my rights. Where does the <laughs> where does where does the attorney general get off telling people what they can do and what they can't do? In a that's legal, probably. Yeah. I mean he. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know he can send out the Gestapo and they can, they can give you a hard time, but it's all in humor, it. everybody. It's all in humor. Yeah. So, let Jordan, give us your opinion on this, and we, I, I know we've got a lot of weighing in to do here, but for, just uh, yeah. hit us with what's your opinion of? Because I think we've set this up, right? I think we've got people to understand exactly what's happening in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm just going to recap real quick. So, uh, pro-gun organization that's been around uh, since the 90s in Pennsylvania. I think it's a national organization. Pennsylvania. No, no, it's a Pennsylvania. It's a Pennsylvania. Or... Okay, Pennsylvania organization. Um, they've been around for a long time. They uh, deal with Republicans. I'm sure yeah. they're they're out there protecting lots of rhinos. Yeah. They and, and all mm -hmm. all fairness though, they do object to the ghost gun bills, the so called ghost gun bills. Yeah, that but are this is like a right weird. Now. This is a schizophrenic situation from them because yeah. if how can they object to the ghost gun bills, but then say no, we're gonna side with the attorney general in Pennsylvania but, that that people that this should be banned. I don't. I just like I I I think that thing is that uh they should be banned but they should be banned by the gun world and not no the, gun... the government anyway. well what so so when do we stop selling ar uppers then uh, i don't when do know we stop it... when do we stop selling replacement hammers and springs and all that oh uh, god if they could get a bill passed that did that they would love it because then guns would eventually expire you know yeah. Well, no, no. You know, what'll happen is people just make the stuff on their I, own. I can sit yeah. down with a file on a gentle steel and heat. Yeah, let's let let's let Jordan jump in here cuz Jordan is uh has of course um a vested interest in this and has a, a great understanding of this. Uh explain to the folks out there who don't know what JSD Supply does. Explain what they do and then hit us with your opinion and then we're all going to get crazy here. But go go for it, Jordan. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. So, so JSD Supply, we, we've been selling 80% uh, receivers since 2013. Um, very small company, and we've just kind of rose through the ranks, and, and now we're kind of, I guess, in the upper upper tier now, whatever, as far as volume goes. But, yeah, so we go to gun shows. That's how we started. We love love being, you know, face-to-face -face with our customers and, uh, you know, doing doing that sort of thing and, and supporting the, the community that way. Um so, yeah, so, so, so my opinion on it, basically, I mean, there's, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, the gun show promoter, I mean, we're, we're friends with, uh, you know, a good, good guy, good, good, good group. We've always had great shows with them. Um, it's a private business at the end of the day. So we support private businesses to be able to do what they want to do. So if that's his decision, we, we don't agree with it, of course, uh, to, to not allow us to sell most of our products there. Um, but we do support his decision to, to, to make that decision. So um, on, on the government side of, of the attorney general and, and some of these, um, you know, legislatures that were there or whatever, they, you know, we don't support any of that. Of course, um, it's, it's your God-given right to, to create firearms. It's, it's not granted from the government uh, is the way we view it. So um, we're totally 100% against it. Uh, of course, so, is, so are all of our customers. Um, he made some out, uh, Kim, 
stole from made some allegations that we only sell to criminals. I mean, if that were the case, we would know that 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 criminals have them. If crime was being committed with with home built firearms that we sold, we, we would know about it. Uh, uh, there, there'd be a much larger issue than what they're portraying in the news. Um, 2019, they they I believe it was 2019. Philadelphia uh, took in 5,000 crime guns. Uh, I believe 99 of them were were home built firearms. So the problem isn't home built firearms. The problem isn't the 4,901 regular firearms. The problem is crime, and mm-hmm. and bad people. Um, they made mention that there, there was a repeat offender that that had purchased some things. So why are we letting him? Why are we letting him into the show to to make these purchases if we know that he's a bad guy? If these are so bad. Couldn't he have caused crime and havoc on his drive home? You know, half hour, forty five minute drive from from the event to back to his place. So, uh, why I mean, are they letting that re- repeat offender be on the streets? <laughs> be on the streets if he's so bad. Yeah, if he hasn't yeah. served his time and, and he's still a, a menace to society, then then maybe he shouldn't be out. Uh, you know, that's another discussion, I guess. But um, you know, at the end of the day, we we follow the law. Uh, we we respect the law, whether we agree with it or not. Um, We've denied customers from purchasing as well. He made another allegation in, in his statement that, uh, you know, regular FFLs, we, we are an FFL actually uh, as well. And we've, we've denied customers um, for, for a multitude of reasons. And so, so we do feel that we play a role in, in uh, keeping things safe and on the up and up. Um, if, if, if you, you were to come in and say, I'm going to buy. Right? Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, if you if you come in and start asking questions, if if you know if JSD can build the firearm for you, that's an appropriate question. If you're new and don't understand, we'll explain it to you. No, that's not something we can do. What if I give you another hundred bucks? I'm, I'm sorry, man. You, you got to go. Like at this point, ATF. I can't sell you anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're the ATF, or or you're you're you know misinformed, or or just you know trying to do something illegal. And we mm-hmm. don't want money that bad. I mean, we are in business, but like it's it's not worth. It's not worth any of that. So, so we've denied plenty of customers um, out of out of safety, uh, you know, for ourselves, for them, for the community. So to say things like we're soulless and and that sort of thing, um, we we are 100% not that. Um, we don't support crime. We don't support criminals. Uh, we we want this to be as mainstream as possible, which which I say on every show that I'm on. Uh, you know, I've said that on your show, Hank, and, and on Crumps. Uh, you know, that, that's what we want. We want it to be as mainstream as going to the store and buying a gun, which which it is uh, or could be. Um, that that's what we want to see. The criminal element is is zero as far as we're concerned. Um, but you know, there's humans involved, so so you know, we I don't know. There, yeah. There's going to be bad people. Bad people are always going to exist. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.